six male re approach after coming home near Provo. One day at the airport, there was a news people staying around waiting for someone to get off the plane that they are coming back to Japan from fighting in the war. There are people screaming when a man in a uniform walked out of the room, one of the playroom in the airport, and walked out smiling at the people that were screaming his name. The news people ran and started to get shots of the soldier and in his uniform. That he looked so cool and hot. He smiled in the camera and made a peace sign. All the heroes that were at their homes looked at the TV and got their hair suits on and ran out to their homes to go and see their loved one again. They got to the airport and ran to where they saw the people surround him and he smiled at them. Hello Japan, I'm finally home and I will be staying here for good. I love you everyone and I will be back as the pro hero said so oh, the male giving him a smile. The heroes picked him up and threw him in the air. Welcome home, nephew. The other heroes cried. The nephew smiled and cried as well and laughed, being thrown in the air by his family and how they all missed him. The heroes put him down and his father walked out of the crowd and wrapped his arms around his son and kissed his cheek and they smiled at each other. Son, you're home. I can't believe that you are home. I thought you were going to stay at the front line, says the father. I'd come home, Dad. I will stay home for a long time. So don't worry, and to tell you, I kind of needed Grandma to fix me. I got injured in the front lines. I was on board to make history for all of Japan, says the son. Wait, you need a cover girl to fix you. What happened? Please tell me. I don't want. I don't want you to die," said the father. "I'm not going to die. It's just that I have a bully wound that, and there is shrapnel in the wound that the doctors cannot take out all the shrapnel in my in the wound. So I still have lots of shrapnel in the wound." From a bullet that they aren't worried if I use my quirk, I would cause me to, it would cause me to start bleeding again, and I love you unconditionally. I didn't know, son. I will tell your grandma to have an operation, operation and Ray when we get to school, so she can get you get all the shrapnel out of your body. So you can go to UA and use your quirk. I love you too, said the father. He pulled out his phone and called Recover Girl. Hello, All Might. What can I do? Hello, All Might. What can I do? said Recover Girl. Could you prepare an operating room? It's for Tony, said All Might. Why do I need to prepare an operating room, said Recover Girl? He has a bullet wound that the bullet. Turns to shout no that he cannot use his quirk without all the shrapnel out, without all the shrapnel out of his body, or it will cause him to start bleeding when he uses his quirk so much. I will be the operating room ready. Just tell the others to come in to the school to be with you because this operation looks serious, and it's their nephew's life on the line. I will see you when you get here, said Recovery Girl. We will see you soon, Recovery Girl. I will tell them to come with us when we are done talking. Bye. So I might. Bye, said Recovery Girl. All my remind hang up the phone and looked at the heroes talking to the media about their nephew. Every pro hero, get your ass over here. We need your butt over here. We need to talk. Son, are you okay? God, there is blood on your cheek. Son, you just breathe. It's going to be the fine. Just keep breathing, said so All Might. All the years heard what All Might said, and mentally looked at his nephew, and breathing, but with blood going gushing from his mouth inside. 
Um, all my there's a lot of blood gushing from his mouth inside, said empty lady. What? said everyone. Let's get to recovery girl and fast, said all right. Pick up him and running with the other heroes behind him. They go to UA and ran to recovery girl office and slam the door open. Recovery girl turns her Neo. And Nezu looked at the heroes and then looked at their grandson bleed out. Only put him on the bed and took off his son's uniform and as the wound was showed the people looked at it and it was big hole in his chest. The girl pushed everyone out of the room and started the surgery and did not let anyone help her. She started digging in into his body to grab all the shrapnel and make sure she closed the bleeders and got the other shovel in his body. She got it done and sewed his hands, his arm up, his up, and kissed his head and gave him a little IV and blood. For the amount of blood he lost, she wrapped the wound up and laid him down. She walked out of the room to see everyone standing there looking at the door and see the car girl stand there with no smile on her face. How is he doing? Is he going to live? said so, Almighty on the break of tears. He is going to be able to live, but his body is going to hurt him and make him sure that he only uses his quirk on emergency. We don't want him to bleed out again. Sir Cairo, tears in her eyes, look at the door where her grandson is in cola from his injuries. They look at the door and cry. When as well, the pro hero and soldier risks his life out there, out on the front life on the front lines. They got badly hurt and they might not may you get to use his quirk ever again to do hero work. How about we recommend him to join UA as our first year and we heal? He will not use his quirk, but his super. How about we recommend him to join UA as a first year and he will not use his quirk, but his super soldier power powers so he does not start making his body bleed again, said Zyla. Yeah, that's a good idea, dude. We can make him join the school and he will only have it was his super soldier powers and not his quirks. He does need to make friends and one day could be a best bet to make awesome friends for our nephew, said in Bruce Mac. But it's uh Tony will join one day and be a student in the school and that he will only use the super soldier powers, said All Might, smiling and tears in his eyes. They heard moaning in the room, and they got up and ran into the room and see their nephew, grandson, and son waking up from in the coma. He was moving around, trying to get out of his deepest deep sleep, and with that, he wants to get out of it very soon. They saw his eyes open, and then the other eye open, and the eye open, and then the other eye open, and they looked at them, and he smiled at his family, and they smiled at him. Well, good morning, sleepyhead. Well, good morning, sleepy son. Well, good morning, son. How did you sleep? So I might. I slept well, but my why does my body hurt? Why do I have this band, big bandage on? And why are you there? I is in my body. Satoshi looking at his arm. I had to do surgery and get the shrapnel out of your body. It was a long surgery, and that you lost a lot of blood. So I had to get put in a blood bag and some fluids into your body. Plus, we decided that we recommend you. Join UA 1A as a student, but you have to use your super soda powers and not your quirk because if you use your quirk, it might cause you to start bleeding again from all the shrapnel in your body and from your surgery, sir. 
I would love to join 1A, and I, I promise to use my super soldier powers, and that I will not use my quirk because I don't want to cause a more plea in Satoi. They smiled at each other and looked at their nephew, grandson, and even son. Ah, oh, they book. You can't hear the one, so I got distracted. Yes, so that the, he would join UA as a student. The time you are healed, it would be the endurance sap, and you will be doing the endurance sap to see if you will be a part of the big three, so they can become the big four. To get your some rest, we will see you tomorrow after the action sap that is going to begin tomorrow. Plus, all of us is going to be to see how much points you are going to rank up in the action sam. We will be rooting for you, and that you are going to be number one, said Principal Nezu.